everyone it's Dawn and welcome back and today I'm going to be doing the last one in our series of paintings to products there are plenty of other demonstrations and ideas I want to show you but this is the last one in this particular series and I'm going to do I'm, or I'm going to use this painting or a section of it and if I bring it up to the camera I hope the Sun is pouring through the window today so I can't actually see my screen but I'm hoping you can see the bit that I've used or I've marked out to cut my piece and we are going to do this use this rather to make a concertina bow so let's get started so I'm going to bring my scoreboard in with my piece already marked out and you need a piece which is approximately five by three inches long now if you want this longer just make it about seven but I will put this basic measurement in the description box down below so that you can refer back to it and what you need to do, you need to score it at every half inch. So we're going to score on the right side, the right side facing up. We're going to score at half an inch, at one inch, at one and a half, at two, and at two and a half. And then what we're going to do, we're going to flip it over. Don't worry about those marks on the back because they won't be seen. And we're going to score at every other mark. So we're going to score at one, and we're going to score at two and that's all the scoring we need to do so I'm going to pop that back in there and I'm going to slide that out of the way and we are going to fold this backwards and forwards like a concertina hence the name concertina bow clever isn't it and so we just keep going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards like that until we've got our bow and then what we do we pinch it in the middle like that and we fan it out. If you wanted this a bit wider, a deeper, you'd, you'd make it more than three inches. But this is just the basics of my bow. And you will also want another piece, which is approximately three by half an inch. You don't have to be too particular about that. And what we're going to do with this one, on the back of it, which I should have done earlier, but I didn't, but we'll quickly do it now. We need to put, or place, a piece of double sided inch wide double sided tape and we're just going to pop it on like that very simple so this will go the whole length hopefully we can get the backing tape off hey great it came off straight away <laughs> that doesn't happen very often not on video anyway so what we do pinch it together and place it on the right side but what you actually want to do you want your join to be on the back so it won't be seen so do that and then just fold it round not too tightly though because you still want that bit that looks like a knot that will represent your knot in your bow so don't be too tight with it just wrap it round like that and you may in fact as we have here any overhang you've got I wouldn't wrap it round again because it might make it too tight or too bulky for you depending on what you're going to do with it so just take your scissors and just pop it off like that and then what we need to do is just give it a bit of a squeeze with our finger and thumbs while holding it and just spread out our bow like that and you have a beautiful concertina bow now I'm going to put mine on my bag that I showed you my gift bag the other day that I showed you and what I'm going to do if I hold that down like that I'm going to put it like that and I think that will make that look very smart indeed. I'm not going to do it now because I haven't turned my glue gun on. In fact, I don't think I've even got it out. But eventually, today, somewhere, I will take that out and I will glue that to there. And that will make a very smart bow and a nice finish to my gift bag. So you can make these whichever colour you like. You don't even have to use a specific painting. You can just shade a colour or paint a colour onto your paper to coordinate with whatever project you want to put it onto. So I hope that you've enjoyed this final project in this series and found it useful and if you're enjoying these projects and these series please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do consider subscribing and then click that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video so that's it for today have a great weekend and I'll be back next week and next week due to other commitments such as care I will be cutting my videos down to two a week so it'll be a Tuesday and a Friday so I will see you next Tuesday with another project. So until then, thank you for watching, stay safe, have fun and happy crafting. Bye bye for now.